Meetings, Divine Guitars, Upper Intermediate. KP Music Shop is a retailer of musical instruments based in the UK. They are expanding into the European market. They are looking for a new range of guitars to sell in their stores. Sarah and Matthew, Matt, work for KP Music Shop. Divine Guitars is a guitar manufacturer based in New York. Mark and Rosa work for Divine Guitars. Sarah and Matthew are visiting the Divine offices in New York. They are interested in a range of guitars called the Lola range. KP and Divine have exchanged emails and spoken on the phone before the meeting in New York. Divine gave this price list for their Lola range of guitars. Study the information carefully. The meeting is in five sections. Read the information. Hi there, come on in. You must be Sarah. That's right. Good to meet you finally. I'm glad you could come here to New York in person. How was your flight? It was fine, thanks. And you must be Matthew? Yes, but just Matt is fine. It's Mark, isn't it? Yes, and let me introduce you to my assistant, Rosa. Matt, Sarah, nice to meet you. You too, Rosa. Great. Can I offer you anything? Tea, coffee, mineral water? Just water, thanks. Matt? I'd love a coffee, thanks. There you go. Help yourself to milk and sugar. Thanks. Please, take a seat. Thank you. Right, let's get down to business. How much do you know about us? Only what I saw on your website. Well, we were founded back in 1923 by Jim Devine, a famous jazz musician here in New York. Jim's grandson, Bill Devine, is the CEO today, so we're keeping the family history alive. We'll introduce you to Bill later on if he's still around. That would be great. And it's wonderful to be doing business with such an established company. So tell us a little more about KP Music Shop. I had a look for you online. You've got a beautiful website. Thank you. It's important to have something well designed. We get about half our business via the web. And we've got a really good digital team. It's absolutely essential these days. You're right, even for an area like guitars, which is very hands-on. Yeah. We opened our first shop in London back in the 60s, selling a range of second-hand instruments to the hippie generation. In those days, everyone was starting a band. We soon started selling new instruments, and then we expanded throughout the UK. We've recently opened stores in a handful of major European cities like Berlin and Amsterdam. And that's in part why we're here. We're looking for guitars that can appeal to a wide range of people throughout Europe. So do you still sell a variety of different instruments? We try to, but to be honest, guitars and keyboards are the real backbone of our business. And that's why it's vital for us to build relationships with quality guitar manufacturers like yourselves. We want our customers to get a real choice. Well, as you know, the range we offer to retail outlets is called the Lola Guitar Series. Yes, we got the sample guitars you sent. Thanks for that. The Lola range is suitable for a broad spectrum of customers. The Lola One is targeted at beginners. The Lola Gold is our mid-range product for experienced amateurs. And the Lola Pro is for professional guitarists. Yes, we like the style of the Lola range very much. We think you've got something a little different from the other brands we currently sell. Thank you. We believe we have managed to make a series of unique products which have a mass appeal. But we do have a few concerns about the quality of the low-end guitar, the Lola One. When we had a look at the quality, it was noticeably lower. Is it made in the US or do you outsource the production? The Lola One is actually manufactured in a workshop in Guangdong. I should add that the electrical components are made here in the US. Those are shipped to China, where the other parts are manufactured and the guitar is assembled. So how can you guarantee the quality if you're not making them here in your own workshop? That's a fair question. 
In fact, a lot of the production process is exactly the same in China and the U.S. We use a CAD-CAM process. Our New York designers send the designs to Guangdong, and these are loaded into the CNC machines in the workshops. CAD-CAM I know, of course, but what are CNC machines? Computer numerical control. It means the machine tools are completely automated. The only real human process is final assembly and quality assurance. We've been over to our plant in Guangdong several times, and all our people there have excellent training. How long has the Guangdong plant been running? Oh, let's see. Coming up for 10 years now. So what's the difference between the process for the Lola one in China and what you do for the other two models, the Gold and the Pro? Two main differences. Hand finishing and better materials. Oh, which parts are hand finished? With the Pro, the neck is hand sanded and the body is polished using a special wax. It gives a much better look and feel for the user. And the materials? We use a different type of wood for the body of each model. For the Lola one, we use a durable wood which is heavier but stronger. This is important because these guitars are normally used by teenagers who tend not to take such good care of them. For the Golden Pro, we use mahogany. It sounds incredible, looks beautiful, and even improves with age. All right. Well, we have no problems with the low-end model being outsourced, as long as you can assure us that the quality is high. How many years guarantee do you have for each? 18 months for the Lola One, 3 years for the Gold, and 5 years for the Pro. Isn't 18 months a bit short? We think it's fair, actually. Also, remember that we expect most beginners to upgrade to a better guitar within a couple of years. Oh, so the Lola one will only last a couple of years? No, that's not what I'm saying. They last much longer than that, but we don't feel it's necessary to offer more than an 18-month guarantee, because normally people upgrade quite quickly. Okay, shall we move on to discuss price? I printed... So in the catalogue you sent us, the wholesale prices to us are Lola $100, the Gold $250 and the Pro $500. Are those prices still current? Yes, those are correct. OK, we're going to mark everything up by around 100% in store. Given that, we feel that although the Lola one is a reasonable price, we need you to move a little on both the other models. All right, to support you, we can offer a small discount on the catalogue price but we do have a minimum order which we need you to meet first. I think we mentioned this briefly in our email exchange. Yes, I have those numbers written down here. The minimum order levels are 400 for the Lola One and 200 for the Gold and the Pro. Sorry, Sarah. Rosa, just to clarify, is that 200 for the Gold and another 200 for the Pro? No, it's 200 in total. You can break it down however you want. For example, you could have 100 of each or 150 Gold and 50 Pro. OK, I see. I don't think those numbers should be a problem, as long as the quality of the Lola One is good. We need people to talk about it with their friends and post on social media. Word of mouth is very important to our business. I can assure you the quality is very good. So if we placed an order at your minimum numbers, what kind of discount could you give us? Well, to be honest, we can't move on the price of the Lola One. It's already rock bottom. So how about the other two models? We're currently prepared to give you 5% on the catalogue price. That's not a lot. So what did you have in mind? We were thinking more of around 10%. The order just isn't big enough to justify that kind of discount. If you doubled the order, however, then perhaps we could go to 10%. Could you give us a couple of minutes to discuss this in private? Of course. Let's take a quick break. You can use the meeting room just across the hall there. Feel free to grab another drink on the way. Thanks. We won't be long. No problem. Take all the time. OK, thanks for your patience. No problem. Right, I think we may have a solution that works for both of us. We will double the order, but only if we can split the shipping into two separate consignments. What do you mean exactly? Well, we would prefer to use the first order to test the market for the Gold and the Pro, to see which is a better seller. Then we'll take the second part of the order based on those figures. That gives us flexibility and less risk. OK, I think that works for us. But we would have to ask you to make the second order before the end of the year. OK, we can live with that. We'll need the stock in the run-up for Christmas. So, just to make sure we're all on the same page, you'll order 400 Lola One, 100 Gold and 100 Pro right now. 
which is our minimum order level. Then you'll reorder before the end of the year, slightly adjusting the numbers between the gold and the pro. Agreed. Now tell me about delivery times. If we sign off on a deal today, we can have everything ready to ship within 30 days. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Was that 30? 30. 30. OK, does that include the Lola One coming from China? It does. The production times are shorter for the Lola One. So, with shipping, all the guitars will end up taking roughly the same time to reach the UK. Good. I'm glad we've managed to reach a compromise. Until we actually have the guitar in the shops, we won't... Now, we still haven't talked about the payment terms. We normally pay 50% on delivery and then the final 50% after 60 days. I don't think we can agree to that. A large part of our costs are up front, such as the materials, so we definitely require some sort of advance payment. Yeah, but you're asking us to take a fair amount of risk here. If production is delayed for any reason, you'll be sitting with our money while we're just waiting. I can promise you there won't be any delay. We've delivered much bigger orders than this within the same time frame. Yes, I can appreciate that, but what guarantees do we have? How about this? You pay 40% up front. From our side, we'll agree that you get a half a percent discount for each week we are overdue. Up to a maximum of 3%. OK, that sounds reasonable. So after the first 40%, what happens? We're prepared to pay another 20% on delivery in the UK and the remaining 40% within 60 days of that. That sounds good. Great. Well, I think that's just about covered everything. Yes, if there's anything else, we can email or talk on the phone. Please feel free to call me whenever you want. Will do. It's been a real pleasure doing business with you. So what I'll do now is get in touch with legal and they can sort out the contracts. They'll draft something based on our discussions today and we'll give it to you ASAP so you can look it over. Excellent. OK, now for the fun stuff. Would you like to join us for dinner later? You can go back to the hotel first if you need to. That's very kind of you, Mark. We'd love to. Thanks. Should we send a car about 7.30? Sounds good. Thanks very much. Great. We'll see you later. Bye then.